you up. And I'm gonna start uh, digging this stuff out today. Um, this, as I'm just about certain, is that spray-on undercoating crap, mainly because you can kind of see the uh, the waves here. Uh, my intention is to get down to bare metal, uh, etch prime, and then epoxy prime. Call it a day. I don't think I've got any seam sealing to do, but I don't know what this is. It's a seam, duh. Um, and I've got a little bit of, I don't know what you call it, uh, it looks like it's rolled up, alright, so, um, this edge is just odd up and down, right, and as you follow it, it, it turns, and then it kind of turns up the other way, so I suspect, no I don't, I'll have to ask somebody, but I think this is natural, um, whether this is, you know how it's how it's horizontal here, and then it kind of kind of twists up like that. So the fact that it's it's the same twist on both sides, equidistant. You know, it starts here, from there, and the same thing on the other side. I think it's an actual car, but I'll find out. Um, I don't think this will take me very long, actually. And getting in the corners, that's always a pain in the ass. But no idea what this is. It moves, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, and then that to fix. Um, and de-rustify, that won't take long. Um, now the side's good to go. I'm not sure how I'm going to... Right now the car's fastened on my piece of wood there. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll unfasten it and probably put it up and get under it that way, but I don't know how I'm going to, or where I'm going to put the uprights. Maybe over here, or, or there, one of the two. I don't know, but enough for now. I'm gonna get the fun stuff. So in my naivete, I actually thought this would take, oh, a couple, couple, maybe two, three hours to, to, to really do. Um, you can see that as this stuff heated up, it's smeared. And this is, I mean, I, I literally hit pause, did this for three minutes, and then said, oh, fuck. So I may have to take a, uh, a blowtorch and a goddamn putty knife and melt this crap off taking care not to light on fire the contents of my trunk uh, just to get this crap off you know it's not come off I figured it would flake off in nice big sheets like this stuff and maybe this will I mean who knows let me see if I can get a piece of this yeah but nope so low torch and a spatula or a putty knife. I don't know if a putty knife. So I have to borrow one of uh, management's spatulas. I'm sure she wouldn't mind. I'm sure. Yeah, I've used this stuff before. Um, now that it's off the car, it's awfully brittle. Um, I'll show you. Just get on my back here. Ugh. So, not a lot of rust. I'm. Well, not a lot of, a lot of rest, but I'm kind of surprised that there is any at all. I mean, this stuff is on thick. Um, I didn't get that crap off. God damn it. Oh, well. Um, I'm sure it'll come off. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. I've got another one over here? No. That looks... This is irregularly shaped. You can see on the far tip of here, it's shorter than this tip here, so I assume that's a patch panel of some sort. I'll know more once I've got the uh, that part of it stripped down. Um, I'm still going to be smearing some of this stuff around, but it'll be better now that a lot of it's off. Nails again. I'm just surprised that someone would use nails on a metal car. Uh, I got crap in the trunk. I should probably uh, 
get out. I've got this some sort of a I don't know what you call it a a seal of some sort. Why I don't know. Um, started over there and uh, let's see. Yeah, kind of right there, center of screen, that little bit coming down. I started digging it out with a screwdriver, and I thought, hell, I'll just get it later. Um, and like I say, it's all the way through this seam here. I think this, whatever the hell it is, that nub of whatever it is, is the end of it. Um, I may just fill it in with seam sealer <clears throat> and um, call that a day. Once I treat it, de-rustify it, and all the other crap. Aside from that, I mean, I don't see a whole lot of damage issues, moans, groans, or complaints. I've got that to fix, of course, but, you know, I already said that, so enough of that for now. All right, so I've got a lot of this stripped out. This is not rust. This is still... That's still that goddamn undercoating stuff. And what looks like discoloring from rust, which I thought it was, is not. It's 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 that fucking tar stuff. So I'm gonna have to uh, rethink this. At least arrest this. I'll probably take this off with a wire wheel, something that doesn't generate a whole lot of heat or as much heat as that flapper disc does. That flapper disc just melts that, smears that stuff all over the place as you can see here so I spent a couple hours doing this um, I don't know if that actually is rust there's no pit in there I can't feel anything and yeah that's a, that's a tar so this is gonna be an absolute bitch to get down um, I can think of a couple better ways but Sandblasting me one of them, but I sure as hell don't want to. So close. Oh well. Um. I found a little bit of a rust hole. That's here. Let's see if we can get up in there. Yeah. So that'll be awfully easy to fix. So I think so. Get a piece of metal and you know form it up, melt, weld it in. Or a little bit of fiberglass. That tiger hair stuff's pretty goddamn awesome. Uh, I figure I'm going to literally pick up the entire car, entire body, move it forward by about three inches, four inches, when I need to get to this portion that's screwed down um, through the normal holes. I'm weekends away from that. I thought, honestly, I thought this would take just a couple hours, but. Yeah, this stuff is so not as flaky and as it's not as flaky and as easy to take off as I thought it was. You know, that's hardened on, but you know, you get a little bit of heat and this stuff just comes right off. My blowtorch takes a lot of this stuff off, but it still leaves a, a residue that I have to contend with. So a little bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. I've got I'm gonna dig out some of this stuff here. Um, it looks like it's felt, but I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if MG used a felt seal. Um, yeah, well, I figured out. I really wanted to have this done by Christmas, but given all the weekends and everything else I've got to do and shopping and stuff that management's making me do, I gotta budget my time wisely. I get antsy when I keep away from this thing for a week or two. Yeah, well. I shouldn't bitch too much, but, you know, it's in my blood. I guess. Oh, look. Right there. A little bit of a crack, I think. Another one over there. Oh, good, I gotta do some welding. Right there. Right there, center of the screen. Um, so... Oh, that'll be easy. Maybe I should just take all that shit down. All that rust. Make myself feel better. Because I do like forward momentum. It makes me feel good. Yeah, that'll be easy.
easy. Yeah, well, that hole there to fix will be easy too, I think. After it's all said and done. So, it's messy and it's slow, but it's not difficult, so... That's all that matters. Well, this is done. At least, the stripping is. I took another couple hours with a blowtorch and more putty knife. Got all the junk off. And I've got some still areas i got to get done. That'd be a little bit of a bitch, but aside from that, i got all the uh, undercoating off. And I even did that. I cut the hole. I cut the hole where the, uh, the damage was. So I've got to replace that. And the portion inside the, uh, the trunk so it looks natural. That won't be too tough. I don't think. Um, and as you can see, yeah, again, a couple areas still to kind of clear out with the wire wheel, but I like it here. But overall, not too awfully bad. I really need to redo this with the wire wheel too. That area there is like crap. Um, all of that is done. Uh, the bowl, I call it, looks pretty good. Um, and what looks like in my screen here, my, my camera, uh, some orange spots, like right there in the center, is discoloration. I could probably move around. Uh, maybe not. I guess I could move around and you could, yeah, see how it changes. Um, I'm gonna take my sandblaster, I think. Let me see, set my, uh, my sandblaster to this area. And it's opposite on the other side, just to get all that junk out and recoat it with some decent primer, some decent epoxy. And uh, let's see what else. This hole is a little larger than uh, it probably should be. I don't know if I'm going to repair that or leave it. I'll probably just leave it. Uh, the same thing over on that side. Oh, Franken just. Uh, Resigned. Um, so tomorrow, I'm tired tonight, I need a bath, I'm grungy. Tomorrow, I'm going to take a wire wheel, sure it just feels soft, I mean uh, smooth. Um, except for here. I'll take a wire wheel to all this, get all the junk and crud off. Uh, I will, uh, not epoxy primer, I will uh, etch prime all this. And uh, give it a day or two or three to dry. And, uh, well, I'll give it more than that because I think the next thing I'll do is repair that. My goal, frankly, is to get all the undercarriage and the engine bay and the interior cabin stripped, painted, well, etch primed anyway. And uh, I'll do the entire body epoxy primer in one shot and definitely not uh, anytime soon probably in a month or two I've got the inner cowl to do that floor I had to put back in that'll be easy but you know I've got a few things I want to get done first so my goal was to strip and then start the body work um, yeah oh yeah and this oh, let's see where is it that's not it that's what she said um, I had a rust spot there I cut all that out I'm not too awfully keen on my abilities to do a compound curve like that. Let me move. It's on my back. That's how it looks. So probably, you know, I don't think it'd be too tough. I've got a little bit of a bow there, a bow there. I need to knock that out from the other side because um, it kind of curves in and it's concave. So a two by four on the other side and couple of hammer blows should do it, I would think. And I should probably be able to fix that without, well, I don't know, who knows. Straight uh, straight lines and metal, I'm all over that. Curves, um, I don't know about that. So, anyhow, I think that's it for tonight. I'm gonna hit save on this, post this to YouTube, and then probably go to bed. I'll take a bath first, but then go to bed. All right, here we go. Uh, just freshly primed. I was looking for black primer, black etching primer, but I couldn't find any, so I'm back down to gray. Not that I give a crap, because I'm going to epoxy prime over this. I've got some rust to repair there, that won't be tough. 
Um, there was a seal up in here, a felt seal. What the hell is that stuff? Here it is. And held in with staples and a nail, I think. Um, so I'm sure I can get this off of, uh, what do you call it, uh, moss or British Victoria or Victoria British, whatever it's called, but I thought about just sealing it in with seam sealer, but that would be kind of, kind of stupid, so I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, a little bit malformed there, that'll be easy to fix. Um, I fixed some malformation down here and on this seam here, still wet. Uh, work in the trunk probably next. Actually, what I'm, what I'm going to start doing, uh, uh, drips, shit, hang on a sec, I can fix that. Yeah, good enough. Oops. One, not seen, and two, to be epoxy primed over. So I'm not too awfully worried about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I missed some stuff there. I'll get that later. Next can. Uh, could have cleaned that one up a little bit better, but that's all right. Um, and once I pick this thing up and move it back so that this is more or less along that ridge there, I'll have some more stuff in there to to paint because I missed that entire you know, area there. Big deal. Um, and I did do some research. I found that from that point to here and that point to here is not symmetrical. So this is a screw up, a, a damage to the the lip there. I'll have to fix that. Um, I'm not worried about doing any body work to this thing right now except for repairs. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'll do the trunk next or if I will... Yeah, I will do the trunk next. I'm gonna repair that hole and uh, do the trunk next on the interior, strip it down and get that ready for prime. After that, I'll start my pet projects. Um, I might even start stripping the body on this thing. You know, paint stripper and all of the stuff. I just love that stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. A lot of fun, I think. And I'm gonna put a bead of seam sealer, I think, if I can zoom this thing in. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna have to pound that down or up, and pound it so it's flat, and then do a bead of seam sealer. Oops. All along here, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I'm supposed to get some snow tonight, which is unusual for this time of year for where I live in Maryland. Bowl is done. I've got some. I shouldn't have sprayed all that. I'm gonna strip that back down and do some metal repair there, some there, and a little bit there in the corner there. But that won't be tough. I think that's it for now. Um, I'm done with this, so I might as well post this video. Um, next is gonna be cutting metal to close up that hole. Uh, some more. Yeah, that's it for now.